Watch this before getting Pixels AI. Today I want to give my honest review on Pixels AI. I want to talk about some of the pros that I like about this tool. I want to talk about some of the cons that I think you need to know. And by the way, I'm a full-time content creator mainly on YouTube, so thumbnails are huge for me, right? And I'm a normal person. What I'm going to do is just jump right into the tool here because I want to show you what I like about it and what I don't like. So Pixels AI is known to be this thumbnail creator that uses AI to create thumbnails for you, right? And I will say I'm thoroughly blown away by this tool, like, but there are some cons to it that you need to know because after all, we are working with AI. <clears throat> so I just wanna quick give you guys some of the thumbnails that we've been creating. So here's some of the quick ones. And again, I specialize in like tutorial style videos and like software comparisons. I do have like 10 YouTube channels and I've been trying a lot of different ones. Like here, I want to show you a recent one that I just did a little bit ago, little bit ago about aquarium related stuff. Yeah, so I have a YouTube channel on aquarium related stuff, and I want to show you guys the channel of the thumbnails that I did. Right, my channel is Palmer Aquatics, and I almost have ninety thousand subscribers in this channel. But anyways, I used one of these tools or one of these thumbnails, right, to copy. <clears throat> and I think it was one of these two. It was about destroying algae. This one says destroy algae. And all you do is copy the link to the video and then throw it into Pixels AI and essentially click your persona and it just creates thumbnails. And this is what it came up with. All oh, right, here's the white one. <clears throat> so here's the white style ones right here. See this Java Moss where I'm holding it. So it did a pretty good job of just like completely replicating that, right? And here's another one. This one says destroy algae. So the thumbnails look really good, but one of the cons is that it commonly will like mess up text on thumbnails. Like it's supposed to say 10 ways to destroy algae. It's just 10 destroy algae. And then also, I mean, sometimes it's a hit or miss really if the text is correct. Like this one it is, but the plant, it messed up. So like, I will say anything, you know, like say if you're in like a specific niche while you're trying to create thumbnails and you need like a particular thing, like in that instance, it was a, in a special type of aquarium plant, it's not going to nail it. You know what I mean? AI is not that good yet. That being said though, like it does get most, like it, it gets us a lot of the way. Like here's another one on the tool we're actually doing videos on, which is Pixels AI and it screwed up the logo, but that doesn't mean that this isn't like usable. A lot of people just think you just need to click download and save and it's ready to go. What I did was I downloaded it and then I put it into Canva. And then because it screwed up the logo, all I have to do is throw like a, a box over that. See like the background's black. So all I do is hide it with a box and then change it black. And then now you can't see it. Right. And then if I add text over it, I can just add whatever I want. Or you can even put your logo, say if like it screwed up the logo, you can just add it in there. And that's commonly what I do. To give you a glimpse at my Canva, you know, like some of these, it 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 does okay. Like this one here, we had to go in here and edit some things. We had to, like I didn't want the year there, so I completely just did that. And it screwed up the words QuickBooks. I was doing a review on QuickBooks. See, it says insult QuickBooks. It's supposed to say into it QuickBooks. I just put boxes over them and just go for it. And again, guys, if at any point during the video you want to check out Pixels AI, I'll throw my affiliate link in the description. What's really cool is you'll actually get a free trial if you use it. Uh, if you use my link in the description to try it out, it's a really cool tool. Like, I know it doesn't get us all the way there, but man, is it doing a good, good, good job. And I've also found that. Um, Using the the prompt service on telling it to make thumbnails, I find that it doesn't do as good of a job at it. And then the whole face swap, the whole face swap feature is essentially just copying someone else's thumbnail and putting your face on it. The goal here is to not completely copy someone else's thumbnail. Pixels AI will completely do that, and I feel like it's wrong. As a content creator, I think we can all agree on that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Because like this tool is like scary good and if we start looking at some of them that I've done you know like this one's bogus but um, I like to try to get different style thumbnails you know what I mean what I'll tend to do is jump into a different niche and then go and copy some other niches thumbnails and then bring it to a new space so like I wouldn't advise just going and looking at the same videos that you're that are doing the same talk as you go and look at a different topic if you can you know what I mean and try to get better at editing the stuff in Canva 
one thing that it also screws up if there's multiple people in your thumbnail like this was supposed to be a, a thumbnail on how to do a talking baby podcast video because i was doing those videos and it turned all the babies into just my face so it has that issue here's my here's my head as a baby which is kind of funny um but yeah you can here's i did some videos on quickbooks you can see that it's Sometimes it gets it, sometimes it doesn't. Like the text up here is not what I need it to be, but everything else is almost there. This is supposed to say Intuit QuickBooks. And again, it's it, the text thing, the text problem is getting better every single day with AI. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen that. Here's some more examples. Also, if there's like branding on people's sweatshirts, uh, it'll grab that. So you gotta be really careful. This was actually someone's branding that you know, was actually in the thumbnail and that's their brand, which I do not want any part of that. Um, but yeah, look at these ones. These are some uh, AI avatar generator videos I was doing. This one looks really good. Um, this one, my hair is a little weird. Sometimes it'll like totally just mess up your hair and annihilate it. But yeah, this one's really good. This was on an AI video editing tool that I did a video on. I think it was like Gling AI or something. But yeah, this one turned out good. This one was like ready to go out the window, like out the gate. So I'm extremely happy with this tool and we use it a lot. I will say, you know, I'm a little concerned about people just completely copying thumbnails. What I highly suggest is going to a different niche and stealing their styling and then bring it into your niche. Hopefully that makes sense. And again, guys, test it out using the link in the description. It's extremely simple. You're just helping a brother out here. I'm on, I'm, I've been putting off doing this video just because like, I feel like, I don't even like sharing this tool because we use it so much. And I feel like if you're trying to leverage AI in the upcoming time, Pixels AI is like the, one of the best thumbnail creators we found right now. This one was on how health insurance works. Yeah, we spent a lot of money. And if you're wondering about the credit system, um, it's 10 credits to make a thumbnail from scratch. See up here in the right hand corner, I have 380 credits left for the month. And if you look at the pricing, if you want to pay monthly, you'll get 200 credits, which is 20 thumbnails to do in a month. And then the premium, which is the one I have, which is 40 bucks a month, you get a thousand credits, which is a hundred thumbnails. So you gotta ask yourself, how many thumbnails are, how many videos are you publishing a month? And that's gonna tell you how many you need. And, uh, and again, uh, you're also gonna have to plan on it making a bunch of mistakes. You know, you get a lot, it's not just gonna be from the get go, like, oh, it's ready to go. A lot of times I'll be doing like five different different iterations of a thumbnail to be able to find one one like one that's usable hopefully that makes sense um so yeah my only setbacks are sometimes it messes up having multiple humans in the thumbnail because if it's trying to build on your persona you know because what we do here is if you go to the recreate section you can at you it'll ask you how much inspiration weight do you want on it essentially how how deep do you want it to copy the thumbnail I advise doing low because we don't want, you want to give it some creativity expansion to be able to do what it can, you know, not just copy it. Then you choose your persona and to create a persona is really easy. All you do is upload 10 images of a person. So obviously that was me. I gave it 10 good photos. And then what's really cool is you can also like say the thumbnail as it turns out, it doesn't look that great. What you can do is go in here and edit it and it'll just ask you, what do you want to edit? I'll be honest with you though, on this editing section, it doesn't do well. Like you would think that if you tell it to edit something, it's just gonna like edit that tiny little thing. What I find it does is it just like, it'll it'll do your little thing, but then it'll like change up the whole thumbnail again. And I find that it's just, the thumbnail gives you is what it gives you. And then like, you just have it try again. That's what we tend to do. Cause like, you can just have it redo it entirely. And we have the best luck doing that. Like this one didn't work. The text is just off. The 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 less text and like graphics and stuff you want it to copy, the better it's going to do. And again, guys, if you want to check out Pixels AI at any point during this video, you know, there'll be a link in the description. Watch this before getting pixels ai this is my honest review i talked about the pros that i like about this tool and i talked about the cons of it hit me up in the comments down below how you feel about it are you struggling making thumbnails for youtube um are you leveraging ai is that your next goal consider subscribing all right guys i'll see you in the next one